Hey guys, it's Madden7 here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of What Do They Need? Now, the third episode is 18th in the current table, and that is Newcastle United. So, what do they need? Now, I've spoke to a lot of Newcastle fans. Um, there, there seemed to be an awful lot. There was more than Villa and Sunderland, and yet, yeah, there's quite a lot of agreement with what they need. Uh, again, a few key positions in January. Uh, Centre-back in particular, because Colicini, uh, you know... Williamson, well, he'll eventually go. And Bemba is is good, but isn't the finished article. And Colicini's a little bit past it. He has a good game now and then. So a centre back is definitely needed for them. Quite, uh, you know, a mid range, a mid age one, someone with experience. I mean, a lot of the time the fans just want proven Premier League quality, someone who's going to help you in a relegation scrap. Because again, that's what they're in at the minute. They're eighteenth. Uh, also, a left back could be useful because Hydora. He isn't the greatest, neither is Paul Dummett, you know, they have hit and miss games, so a left back could be, uh, 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 well, somewhere where a signing is needed. It's probably the, the lowest um, needed position out of the four that I'm going to talk about, four or five. Uh, they definitely need a holding CDM because you look at Colback and Anita, they're good on the ball technically, but they're, they're not very strong, they're both quite physically small, so a good holding defensive midfielder who can clear up the shit a bit like Schneidlin does for Manchester United when he actually gets fucking played that is but anyway um, up top they definitely need a striker someone who's you know a proven goal scorer as you know I'm quoting the true Jody here because yeah <laughs> his videos probably tell you all you need to know for Newcastle but to be honest a lot of the fans do agree with him anyway but it's kind of obvious because they do have young strikers in Perez Mitrovic who do look as though they've got potential, but they don't really have that guaranteed goal scorer. I mean, Cissé scores now and then. Usually it's tap-ins that he'll score. He's like a much downgraded version of Giroud. So uh, they definitely need a good striker up top. You know, there's similar vibes coming off the relegation contenders. They're in similar positions, to be honest, uh, if you've seen the Sunderland and the Aston Villa video. And maybe also a, a default winger, because that's something they lack. They usually play a 4-4-2 and they put Sissoko and Wijnaldum wide and, you know, they're not default wingers so they, they can work but they're not very good at tracking back, you know, judging when to be in position and when not to be because they're not wide men, they're, they're usually, you know, cams, that's generally what they are or centre mids. So a winger, a default winger would be another priority and, yeah, I suppose clearing out a couple of, you know, deadwood players like... Maybe Cissé, like Williamson, players like that, just to shift off some of the wage budget. You could say that with Sunderland and Villa, to be honest. I didn't go through that too much. But yeah, I think in general, that is what they need. Whether they'll get it, though, because you know how Mike Ashley is. I mean, he did spend £50 million last time, but he's known for being very stingy. But surely he would have to realise that they are in a relegation scrap, so they do need money to spend and not... Potential. They need basically what Newcastle need is you know proven quality really because they do have a lot of potential. But if they go down the championship, that's probably all going to disappear. So yeah, let me know if you're a Newcastle fan if you agree with me or not. Next episode will be Swansea. So get your comments in. What do you think they need? Well, probably a manager would help. But uh, <laughs> since they sacked Gary Monk. But anyway, yeah, that will be uploaded in a few hours today. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, peace. Well, like the video as well. Forgot that bit.